Hey folks, here we are at a Linux desktop. And today we're going to talk about something that I encountered the other day. Uh, I discovered that I couldn't play .swf files in the web browser in Linux. Now, for those of you that are unfamiliar, SWF files are shockwave flash files. Back during the early 2000s, uh, that was a big thing. Uh, before YouTube, it was, you know, quick time embedded movies, real player embedded movies and flash movies, flash animation. And that's what SWF is mainly used for still, is animation. And you know, I, I still use the, these flash animation files. I like storing them locally, and you know, I play them back locally. Uh, I do that for old animations, older flash games, things like that. And I have a Linux desktop here to demonstrate the problem I was having. Here's the downloads folder. Here we have some of the uh, files that I downloaded. These are just sample files I got from somewhere. One for car speakers and a banner snack ad. And uh, on Windows, when you play a Swift file in a web browser, it works perfectly every time. You have two options. You can use standalone Flash Player to do it, or you can use the web browser to do it. And the web browser has been able to do it forever. You know, since the dawn of Shockwave and Flash, that's just been the case. It was designed to do that but it doesn't work in Linux as I'll demonstrate. It wants me to open it with videos but that's not what you do. In order to open a Swift file on Linux you just have to tell it to open it with the web browser. And when you do that it opens the web browser and it asks you to download the file. And that doesn't make sense, right? Because you're trying to play the Flash movie in the browser. And that is because the uh, the oper the way the operating system handles the files is improper for .swift files. Uh, either that or the browser is not, you know, configured the right way for this to work. But this happens on Firefox. It happens on Chrome. It happens on all the ones I've tried. So this is a system wide issue. It's it's the way the system handles file types, uh, and specifically the MIME type is the problem here. And the way to fix that. It took me a little bit of digging, but I finally figured it out. The way you fix that is actually fairly simple. Uh, what you do is you open up a terminal, and what you want to do is open your favorite text editor. That could be gedit, that could be nano, could be vim, whatever you want it to be. I prefer uh, get it. So you want to open it with sudo, and then you open up this path. Oops. So this is basically editing a simple XML file to fix the problem. It'll ask you for your pseudo password, so you enter that. And there you have it. You have a big, big document full of the way it handles uh, different file types. And there you go. EPUB plus zip. There's a file type. Now what you want to do in this document, I'm using gedit for this, what you want to do is search for uh, shockwave and you'll find what you're looking for. And there you go, there's exactly what you need. And here's the line you want, the one with all these shockwaves in it. Notice where it doesn't say shockwave up top. It says mime type, type equals application, quote application slash vnd dot adobe dot flash dot movie unquote. And uh, this is the line that causes uh, the system to call upon the browser to download the file, which is exactly what you don't want. What you want instead is for the browser to run the Flash file and play it. And this particular line right here is the reason that doesn't happen. So what you want to do is go to this line, and before you make any changes, do this. Save it as a dot save a version of this as a .old file so that you have a backup. There, now that you've done that, the colors all change, <laughs> what you want to do is delete vnd.adobe.flash.movie right there and replace that with x hyphen shockwave dash or hyphen flash. Then you save that one as the old file, which is freedesktop.org.xml. You save that, replace it, 
and there you go. Your part one is done. You've edited the file. Now you can exit gedit. Now you go want to go back in your terminal, and then you type this. I, I'm going to do sudo just for safe measure. Update hyphen mime hyphen database space slash usr slash share slash mime. And then what it'll do is it'll update that file type database. And then you can go back to your folder with all your .swift files in it and uh, open it with your browser of choice, like Firefox, and it will play the file. See, there you go. Worked perfectly. So there you go. That's how to make Shockwave Flash files play in Linux. All you have to do is change that database file so that it uh, it runs the uh, Swift files in the browser instead of trying to download them. Let me try the other file. One thing it does is it changes that so you have to change the default to uh, Firefox. Let's try the other Swift file. Yep, that works completely fine. So, yeah, there you go. I'm, I'm not sure why they changed that MIME type to uh, what it was in that text file. It doesn't make much sense to me because it breaks it breaks the ability to locally watch Swift files. I don't know. I don't see the logic behind it. Maybe someone in the comments can enlighten us on that. As of Ju the end of July 2014, that's how to fix it and make Swift files play in Linux. Uh, I hope this helps somebody out there, and uh, thanks for watching. Have a good one, everybody. Ciao.